have I turned to the dark side? Nope, I've just got myself a uh, La Hacienda pizza oven. It's the uh, one that they're doing B&Q. Picked up a bag in today off eBay. It's a, an X display, so I'm going to fire it up. Let's see how she goes. Trip myself to a pizza peel. Got myself a uh, thermal heat detector thing. Tell me how what we're getting. Let's see if we can cook a pizza in 90 seconds. She's rather pretty. That's nice final resting home. But we need to get Big Les Barbecue Shack version two built. Right, swip off the door. Got a couple of uh, tumbleweed fire lighters. Got a leaf, it's leafy season. I'm going to build a stack it's directly under the flue. We'll make sure that flue is fully open. And we're going to get a stack. It's like playing Jenga, this, of uh, kindling wood. I'll get that on there first to make a, a nice fire. And then uh, we'll add some logs on in a minute once the fire starts a rocking. Right, let's get a lit. Right, hello, we'll leave that rocking for a minute. You can see instantly that draft pulling that straight up. As that starts to catch, I'll take one of our uh, small logs and I'll just place that on the top. I'll let that warm up and then I'll uh, get to adding some more logs in a second. The flames caught really nice now. I've just put two logs either side of that kindling pile. I'm going to get this burn for half an hour, 20 minutes to half an hour, and then uh, we'll move the fire to the back and uh, we'll add another log in to dry out and add to the fire. Right, we're going to take our pizza peel and we're going to move the fire to the back of the oven. back across then we're going to use our pizza peel I'm going to place a log up at the back and we'll leave that to keep a rock in there's our fresh pizza dough I made earlier I'll do that in another video leave a comment down below if you want we've got some uh, Nice chorizo sausage and some salami, some chicken tikka, some mozzarella, some grated cheese. And then we've got some semolina for dusting our peel and our uh, bowl of just plain flour or bread flour that we're going to dip these in when we get to making our pizza. See you when it's time to make our pizza guys. If you're enjoying it, give us a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Right, we're going to take one of our dough balls. Each one of these I pre-made earlier at 8 o'clock this morning. They're about 250 grams each. And we're just going to take them down and give them a quick dust in, in the flour. And that should be all we need to help shape them. What we're going to try and do is try and do a pizza Napolitano. So to do that, we need to try and shake with our hands start to make a bit of a crust going round and then using gravity as you can see stretching it out now because this pizza has been uh, a pizza this pizza base has been uh, sat all day the gluten strands have uh, started to work, they're getting nice and strong and if there was light behind it you'd see it's starting to go 
transparent. I'll fail for making a round pizza. Give one last quick dust. Dust. Keep stretching, keep stretching, keep stretching, keep stretching. This is how brave you've got it. Oh! Don't worry. We'll patch it. Right. Semolina. And my pizza peel. Give the pizza peel a good dusting with semolina. That's going to help it slide. And then we can get the pizza on there and it should, in theory, swing around. We don't want to leave it hanging around on the peel too long. I'm going to take our Napolitano on the pizza sauce. Like I say in future videos, I will make some. I have just got this tonight and I want to give it a try and a, a good honest review. So I want to see if I can make a pizza in 90 seconds. I think uh, for the first one, we'll go fairly traditional and just do a cheese and tomato. I ain't got any basil at the end, but we'll just go for a straight cheese and tomato. Just to see how she goes. Right, that's ready to uh, transfer to the oven. Let's see how quick. Right, before cooking, we're going to take our gadgie and we're going to temp 360 degrees near the fire and near the mouth of the oven it's about 270 degrees celsius so she's rocking quite hot let's see how uh, she cooks this pizza one neapolitan style of pizza and we're going to sit her straight and I'm going to give her a quick shuffle shuffle. Now I'm just going to use the timer on the uh, camera. She's been on for 10 seconds. I'm going to give it 20 seconds and then I'm going to go back in and give it a turn. So we're coming up on the 20 second mark. Here we go, pizza number two, a meat feast. Hopefully I've got the pizza oven a bit hotter this time. That's so much better. So, keep two logs burning at all times is what I'm finding out with this oven. Put another turn, just let me catch on that side. That's exactly what you want now. A bit of charring. That smells amazing. Beautiful. And the char on the top. The salami, the chorizo, the cheese. Smells amazing. Let's have a look at the underneath. To get it just a chair on the bottom. Wood fired pizza. Get amongst it. We're going to go for one last pizza. 400 degrees. Nice, gentle wriggle.
time lapse is about 90 seconds now and that's absolutely beautiful I hope you've enjoyed the cook guys I know it's a straightforward quick easy one tonight but uh, I wanted to fire up some pizzas leave me some comments down below and I'm gonna get to eating this wonderful meat pizza good night <laughs>